welcome. Thank you so much for joining us to Global Harvest uh, Kids Church. Asu. Hey kids, welcome to Global Harvest Church, and I hope you have a good time. We're going to tune in to Connect. And uh, today, before we tune in to Connect, I have Asu trying to skip out on some of the questions I was training him. I'm going to ask him. And uh, so today, let's have a conversation with Asu. How was your week this week, Asu? Good. We went biking a lot outside, outdoors. That was your highlight this week? Yes, I like biking. Okay, what else did you do? Did you do any other sports? Volleyball, badminton, tennis. So you've been active this week? Yes. All right, kids, tell us on the chat, tell your parents to type in, or if you can type in, tell us what your favorite game this summer. And uh, we want to hear from you, and hope you are active physically, and, uh, and also spiritually we are empowered. And uh, Asya, I want to ask you, what are you thankful for this morning? Uh, just to be here. Just to be here? And uh, you enjoy being with your friends and family? Mm -hmm. And uh, what, do you, what is your favorite part in coming to church? Um, hanging out with friends and family. Okay, all right. What about worshiping the Lord or anything? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, all right. And so, church, uh, we are excited that you're part of it. And I want to just, before we go in, we want to start with a, a scripture uh, to worship the Lord today. Let's turn to Psalm 111. 111. Uh, this uh, scripture passage has been an amazing blessing in my life this week. And uh, it just says, uh, Great are the works of the Lord. They are pondered by all who delight in them. Great are the works of the Lord. Today, do you rejoice in the greatness of God? Do you rejoice in the amazing provision of God? And uh, today I want to say some, you to tell to somebody who's sitting next to you, wherever you're watching it from, and uh, tell them what you're grateful for. And uh, let us start the service with praise and adoration. Another cool thing is, is that the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Today God wants us to have wisdom. And uh, when we trust the Lord, when we honor God, when we have the honor and adoration of fear, and uh, it is the, uh, God gives us wisdom. All who follow His precepts have good understanding. To Him belong eternal praise. Today, I pray our life will bring praise unto God. And may God bless you as you watch this video. And I pray that God will minister to you. And let's enjoy this Connect video. Stream. Merrily, 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 merrily. Life is but a dream. Row, row, row your boat. Man, I cannot get that song out of my head today. We are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection. And you never know what might happen. I'm Edison, and this is the time I learned to not let what others say get me down. Okay, it's processing all the results. This is so exciting. Now, how accurate are these quizzes? So accurate, it's eerie. Computers are so smart. Well, I mean, technically it's the program that's smart, and really it's the programmer who programmed the program that's really smart, and they're just very impressive. It's ready! Oh, okay. okay, first quiz. If you were a fast food item, what fast food item would you be? I got chicken nuggets. I got french fries. That is so true. I got hamburger with pickles. I could see that. I got napkins? Uh, well, everyone I mean, needs napkins. Yeah, those are good. You can without napkins. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's look at the next one. What item at a toy store best describes you? It says I'm a jump rope. I got a hula hoop. I'm a puzzle. <laughs> What'd you get, Edison? The cash register. Th that's good. Can't have a store got, without one of those. You got lots of money. Mm -hmm. Okay, I've saved the best for last. This one will tell us what animal perfectly describes us. I'm up. What? Why? Because I'll probably get something weird like a like a porcupine or a lobster. Well, what's wrong with those animals? Yeah, porcupines are really spiky and lobsters are really pinchy. I see your point. 
Have fun, but I have work to do. It says I'm a bunny! Yay! I got a cat! I love cats. <laughs> Look, I'm an otter. <laughs> See, I told you it was accurate. Well, what did Edison get? A lobster. Oh. Oh, hey, there's a new message from uh, our field office in Tucson. Great, let's see what it says. Hello, Connect HQ from the field office here in sunny Tucson, Arizona. I have Daniel with me today. He's struggling with a problem and was hoping you could help him out. Hi, Connect HQ. Sometimes kids at my school call me really mean names and it hurts my feelings. Sometimes kids stop thinking about it and wonder if what they say about me is true. Should I believe what they say about me? We were hoping you could help us out, HQ. When people call me names, it hurts my feelings too. There once was a girl in third grade that used to call me eraser nose. Did you erase things with your nose? No, but I had this purple eraser that smelled like grapes and I'd love to smell it. And one time I got stuck in my nose, so eventually everyone started to call me... Eraser nose. But that's not who you are. I know. I haven't thought about that nickname in years, but I know exactly how Daniel feels. I bet we can find just the right links to let him know that it doesn't matter if people call you names. Yeah, it just matters what, what God says about you. Mm -hmm. Sometimes when I forget who I am, I try to remind myself, I am God's masterpiece. Ooh, that is such a good reminder. I am God's masterpiece. I like that. What you reading? I said, what you reading? Mm, oh, oh, yeah. All that talk about programs reminded me of a computer manual I never finished. Mm, that carrot is pretty distracting. What? This whole thing? I've always been a big fan of carrots. The quiz calls you a, uh... Bunny! I got a cute little bunny. And the more I think about it, I really am adorable. Just like a bunny. In what way? One, love carrots. Two, love hopping. Three, pass out Easter eggs to people. Okay. Um, wh wh what did the quiz call me? You don't want to know. Uh, come on, tell me. Lobster. I knew it! I'm, I'm not a lobster! How could the quiz call me something so mean? What's wrong with being a lobster? Okay, one, I don't like the ocean. Two, don't like the color red. And three, I don't have... Dangerous pincer hands or whatever. But you do like the beach. Th then why not call me something like a, a, like a dolphin, a smart animal? Edison, it's just a quiz. That's easy for you to say. You got something fluffy. I got something frightening. And lobsters are too... Mm. So how did it make you feel when they called you eraser nose? I started believing I really was a weirdo. Like I was a bad kid just because I got an eraser stuck in my nose. So you're saying this helped you learn how to let go of the bad things that people say about you. I think I have the perfect verse for us. Which one? It's from the book of Ephesians, chapter 2, verse 10. Here, say it with me like this. Ephesians 2, 10. Ephesians 2, 10. For we are God's masterpiece. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. So we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. This verse will remind Daniel that God considers people his greatest creation. So no matter what others might say, God says that we are his masterpiece. And masterpieces are wonderfully made. We are works of art. We need to remind Daniel that God thinks he's really special. The verse link is Ephesians 2.10. Verse link acquired. Hey Edison, do you know how to make carrot cake? Hmm? Ah! What is that? Oh, nothing. Just a hydrating mask. So I read online that lobsters have a very hard exoskeleton, so I made sure I'm nothing like a lobster. See, feel my hands. Very soft. Yeah, soft, like a smart dolphin. Edison, it's just a quiz. Maybe it wasn't accurate for you, but for some of us, the cute and adorable ones, it was 100% accurate. That's easy for you to say. What if a quiz called you a lobster? I got a 
bunny. Hmm. Nice hat. I guess Dot told you about the quiz results. She did. Where is Dot? Uh, she's digging through the Easter stuff right now. She's trying to find some bunny ears. She's really leaning into this whole animal thing. It's like she has to live up to being as cute as a bunny. <laughs> I've been looking for a Bible link for my friend Daniel. Check out this story I found about Jesus. This is the story about the God who loves us in the Bible. We find truth and purpose to love God and love others. We're searching God's word for things to discover. Is alive. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. The earth had no life on it, but the Spirit of God was there, moving over the water. It is way too dark in here. Let there be light. Then God separated the light from the darkness. I'll call the light day and the dark night. This looks really good. This was the first day. Day two. I'll make a huge space between the waters and I'll call the space above sky. Day three. God commanded the water to come together in one place. I'll call this land and call the waters oceans. Then God created all sorts of grass, trees, and other kinds of plants. Day four. Hmm, the sky is missing something. God made two powerful lights. These lights would separate day from night and show the seasons, days, and years. One light for the day, the other bright light for the night. He also made the stars. God looked at all he created. It was good. Day five. It's way too quiet around here. God filled the waters with fish and all the things that live under the water. God also created all types of birds to fly in the sky. Looks good. Day six. Need more animals. God created all sorts of reptiles and four-footed animals. Anything that moved on land. Hmm. Something is still missing. I know. Let's create something like us. What do you think, Jesus? Holy Spirit, are you in? So God created humans. He made a man and a woman, and God blessed them. Day 7 Everything looks good, but humans are the most special because they are made in my image. Now that it is done, I think I'll rest. The creator of the entire universe thinks you're special because you're made in his image. Wow, God thinks people are special. I, I've never thought of it that way. Even people who get called lobsters. You don't have to live with the label people put on you. All that matters is what God thinks of you. But what if the quiz was right? What if I am just a napkin or, or a cash register or even a lobster? Edison, listen to me. You were created to be Edison. You're one of a kind. Don't let anyone or anything tell you otherwise. You are God's masterpiece. I'm God's masterpiece. Do you think I could help you create the connection transmission for Daniel? I'd love to have your help. Every time I used to have the old one, I kept bumping into it and mm -hmm. just got, hey, we got a message from Connect HQ. Let's see what it says. Hi, Daniel. My name's Edison, and I'm a part of Connect HQ. We found an answer for you. The Bible tells us this in the book of Ephesians. Ephesians 2, 10. For we are God's masterpiece. He has created us anew in Christ Jesus, so we can do the good things he planned for us long ago. No matter what you think or what others have said about you, 
When you choose to follow Jesus, you are made new. You are God's masterpiece. God created the heavens and the earth, and he was certainly very proud of this amazing work. But God made people in his image to be more like him than any other part of creation. And that's what makes people God's most special creation, his greatest masterpiece. What do you believe is true about you? What others say or what God says? It doesn't matter if people say good things or bad things about you. The truth that matters is what God says about you. I am God's masterpiece. That's what he thinks about me and that's what he thinks about you. You are wonderfully made. God has good things planned for you to do, so don't let me name stop you. Go out and be the masterpiece you were made to be. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. It helps to hear that God thinks I'm a masterpiece. Thanks for your help, Connect HQ. Dot, it was just a quiz. I have no idea what you're talking about. Lose the ears, be you. I am me. You're a human person. I am a cute little bunny. If you want to borrow my hat, you can. Want to know why? Because I'm not shellfish. <laughs> you get it? Not selfish, shellfish. I'm going to get a lot of mileage with this hat. When you choose to follow Jesus, you are new. You are you. God has good things for you to do. So if you're ready to embrace that you're God's masterpiece, all you have to remember are the A, B, C's. A, admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying him. B, believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C, choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, Tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your parents or a leader that you trust. Kids, if you follow, if you made the decision to follow Jesus Christ, we're excited with you. And so you can ask your parents if you're with uh, your parents know Jesus Christ, you can pray with them. And uh, also we encourage you to read the Word of God, which is the Bible. And uh, I want you to encourage you to read from the book of John. You can get to know Jesus and the promise God has for you and me. And that's a good starting point. And uh, so I'm glad that you joined us today. I pray that God this week give you an attitude of hope and joy. An attitude of know that He is with you. And He gives you new hope and new life in Christ Jesus. And thank you so much again. Join us again on... Uh, every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock uh, at the same channel. And uh, also, we want to encourage you to join us for the worship at 10.30 every Sunday uh, for uh, Sunday worship with the family. So we're excited for you, and we pray that God's amazing plan continue to prevail in your life, and through your life, God will bring hope and healing wherever you go. May God bless you. Thanks again.